In the last lesson, we learned what's important in animation and how to improve the animation. Now comes the next part, planning the whole thing inside Cinema 4D. I'd like to show you the Doodle tool, which is mainly developed for com commenting work. And since you can do 2D animation with it, it's pretty useful for planning your shots. Let me open the windmill. Modeling, windmill modeling, zero one. Okay, you see this is side view, pretty nice to animate. Now go to tools, doodle, and use these this upper thing to undock it. Move it over here, and start painting. I would presume that we go to size three, add some hardness to it, and choose a color. I would choose red, because it's obviously visible. And uh, now you start doodling. You just click auto-add frames, so every time you change a frame over here, Doodle will auto-update, and that's the way how to do animation itself. So, we want to have this cube um, scale upwards and get visible, so we make it small at the first frame. When you go one frame ahead and you paint the next one, you see the old one is deleted. And you go to animation here. You can select the doodle object up in the upper right corner and you will see the keyframes even here. Let me zoom in. So here we are. And now it's mainly getting the whole thing right. Another thing I can show you is how you can quickly shift the keyframes. I tend to shuffle them around pretty often so I can uh, do some nice work. Okay, now we got the cylinder. Let's head to keyframe 3, duplicate the whole frame, which will um, copy the old frame to another keyframe, uh, to another frame, and let's start painting. We want to have a banana-like Unveiling of the pillars. And now we can duplicate. We can now we will use the eraser to erase the upper part and the paint tool to continue painting. And again duplicate erase. If you prefer, you can also go into the options and um, turn on ghosting. So you see the last one here. This is pretty pretty cool to have if you want to have a precise animation. Let's delete this one. Go over here. Duplicate again and erase. You can also tweak if you want to. This one here is a bit bumpy. Okay, like this. Okay. So that's that's mainly the the thing how I tend to plan my animation. You could also do bouncing balls or different stuff like that. And now we can go here and make it a little bit slower. Let's turn off the ghosting. Okay. This frame is a bit ugly. That's cool. I would suggest that we make a pause here. Okay, and this one. Like this. So it's a pretty uh, repetitive task right now, and 
it's mainly about animation itself, how you do it, how to plan it. I will stop the video here and I will show you the final thing when I'm done. Okay, so we are back. I doodled a bit and this is the main thing. So everything is there, but the timing's off. And I'll just um, do some animation stuff and shovel around these keyframes. This is also how you make your uh, animation a bit better. Adding those pauses, getting the physics right. Try to um, try to have arcs in it. It's mainly the um, standard prim uh, pr principles of animation are um, catching here too. Like this. This is also already pretty nice. I love this those bounces here. The generator. Now come the blades. Here is another pause. Okay. Get a bit slower to come out. Oops. This is mostly the, the most creative um, part of the working process. Because due to the 2D animations, you got pretty much your back of the entire 3D technic part, technical part. You could show this one to the customer or the client and discuss with them uh, what to change, if this is alright. You could do variations and uh, choose your favorite one, etc. etc. So. This is a pretty fast uh, possibility for you to stay creative, having um, the entire 3D part out of your mind and change on the fly if you want to. So this is done already, it could be final and I'm going to show you how the model is set up and later on we will animate the windmill.